the template infobox deity is being considered for merging. Iapan is a Hindu deity popular in the southern India, particularly in the state of Kerala. Iapa is also known as the Hindu god of self-control. Iapa is considered as the son of Mohini and Shiva and stepson of Mother Parvati. He is considered to be the epitome of Dharma, truth and righteousness and is often called upon to obliterate evil. The worship of Iapa has become very popular in the state of Kerala by members of all Hindu communities, in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, and Andhra Pradesh. The deity is mentioned in various scriptures and is revered in South Indian Hindu traditions. Although devotion to Iapan has been prevalent earlier, in South India, it has become popular only in the late 20th century. According to Hindu theology, he is the son of Hari Haran. Iapan is also referred to as Iapa, Sastavu, Haraharasudan, Manikandan, Shasta or Dharma Shasta and Sabarinath. The iconography of Iapan depicts him as a handsome celibate god doing yoga and as an epitome of Dharma, who wears a bell around his neck. He is honored by Muslims in Kerala, with legends wherein Iapan defeats and gains worship of the Muslim brigand Bavar. In the Hindu tradition popular in the Western Ghats of India, he was born with the powers of Shiva and Vishnu to confront and defeat the shape-shifting evil buffalo demoness Mahishi. He was raised by a childless royal couple Rajashakara Pandian and Koparindivi, and grows up as a warrior yogi champion of ethical and dharmic living. In the South Indian version, Ipan images show him as riding a tigress, but in some places such as Sri Lanka he is shown as riding a white elephant. Ipan popularity has grown in many parts of India, and the most prominent Ipan shrine is at Sabarimala, nestled in the hills of Pathanamthitta of Kerala. The shrine receives millions of pilgrims every year in late December and early January, many of whom prepare for weeks before and then climb the hill barefoot, making it one of the largest active pilgrimage sites in the world. The pilgrimage attracts a wide range of devotees, from diverse social or economic backgrounds, except women in their fertile age because Ipan is believed to be the celibate deity and a plethora of other arguments to vindicate the same. It remains one of the few deities in Hindu tradition, that are respected by other religious communities vis. Muslims in Kerala. The most significant festival linked to him is the Makaravalaku, observed around the winter solstice. Ipan icon similar to the Sabaramala icon in a yogic position. The name Iapan may be related to his lord father. The name may literally comes from Ion and Apan both meaning father. The root names Ion and Apan denotes Mohini and Shiva respectively. However, the word Iapan is not found in South Indian versions of the medieval era Puranas, leading scholars to the hypothesis that Iapan may have roots elsewhere. The alternate theory links it to the Malayali word Akan and Tamil word Appa which means father, with Iapan connoting lord father. The alternate proposal is supported by the alternate name for Iapan being Sestava, a Vedic term that also means teacher, guide, lord, ruler. The words Sastha and Dharmasastha in the sense of a Hindu god are found in the Puranas. Iapan is also known as Hara Harasudan, meaning the son of Hari Haran or a fusion deity of Hari and Hara, the names given to Vishnu and Shiva respectively. He is also called Manikana for Mani, Sanskrit for precious stone, and Kanta, Sanskrit for neck. In some regions, Iapa and Iyanara are considered to be the same deity given their similar origin. Others consider him as different because their worship methods are not the same. Iapan is a warrior deity. He is revered for his ascetic devotion to Dharma, the ethical and right way of living, to deploy his military genius and daring yogic war abilities to destroy those who are powerful but unethical, abusive and arbitrary. His iconography is usually shown with a bow and arrow upraised in his left hand, while in his right he holds either a bow or a sword diagonally across his left thigh. Other depictions of Iapan, particularly paintings, generally show him in a yogic posture wearing a bell around his neck and sometimes shown riding a tiger. The life legends and mythology of Iapa varies across region like other Hindu gods and goddesses, reflecting a tradition that evolved and enriched over time, sometimes in conflicting ways. For example, the Surbhutanatha Purana text presents Iapan as an incarnation of the Hindu deity Haraharaputra, the son of Shiva and Mohini. This interaction between Shiva and Mohini is mentioned in the Bhagavata Purana, but Iapan is not mentioned. In the oral tradition as represented by Malayalam folk songs, Iapa is presented as a warrior hero of Pandala Kingdom. According to Eliza Kent, the legends in the Iapa tradition seem to be artificially mixed and assembled into a kind of collage. Ruth Thanita suggests that Iapon probably emerged from the fusion of a Dravidian god of tribal provenance and the Puranic story of Shiva and Mohini's interaction. 
There once was a kingdom of Pandalam where I upon originated. The royal family was childless. One day the king of Pandalam found a baby boy in a forest. The king carried the baby to an ascetic in the forest to inquire about the boy. The ascetic advised the king to take the baby home, raise him like his own son, and that in twelve years he would discover who the baby was. The royal family did so, naming the baby Manikantha. Iapon, also called Hara Hariputra, is believed to be born from the union of Shiva and Mohini. At age twelve, the king wanted to formally invest Manikantha as the heir prince. However, the queen under the influence of an evil minister objected. The minister had advised the queen that only her younger biological child should be the next king. The younger child was disabled and lacked the ability to perform the duties of the king, something that the scheming evil minister thought would make him the de facto ruler. The minister persuaded the queen to feign an illness, ask for tiger's milk to cure her illness and demand that Manikantha be sent to get the milk from the forest. Manikantha volunteers, goes into the forest and returns riding a tigress. The king, realizing Manikantha's special ability recognizes the adopted son to be a divine being, resolves to make a shrine for him. For location, Manikantha shoots an arrow that lands 30 kilometers away. The young boy then transforms into Iapon. The place where Arrow landed is now an Iapa shrine, a site of a major pilgrimage that is particularly popular for visits on Makara Sankranti. The above core story is shared wherever Iapon is revered in India. Sometimes the story is slightly different or extended, such as the younger son of the queen is not disabled, Iapon does bring tigress milk for the queen riding on a tiger. But after doing so Iapon renounces the kingdom, becomes an ascetic yogi and returns to live as a great warrior in the forested mountain. Dharma Shasta is a complete incarnation, worshipped as a celibate deity, but in some places one of his incarnations, Shasta is worshipped as Ayanar along with two consorts. In the medieval age, the stories of Iapon expanded. One story has roots between the 1st and 3rd century CE, where Iapon evolves to be a deity who also protects traders and merchants from enemies such as robbers and plundering outlaws. Iapa came to be portrayed as a military genius. His temple and tradition inspired Hindu yogi mercenaries who protected the trade routes in South India from criminals and looters, restoring dharmic trading practices. In one of the stories, Iapon is portrayed as a child of a priest whose father was murdered by the fearsome outlaw Yudhyanan. The outlaw also kidnaps a princess. Iapon then makes a daring rescue, attacks and kills evil Yudhyanan. In another version of this story, the rulers of Pantalam themselves sent Iapon as a mercenary to the Pantir rulers to whom the ruler of Pantalam was related. In another late medieval era variation of the story, Iapon forms an alliance with the Muslim warrior Vavar against Yudhyanan, the basis for some devotees worshipping both in a mosque and then in the Hindu temple before starting a pilgrimage to Iapon shrine. According to Paul Younger, supplementary legends appeared by the late medieval times that linked other Hindu deities and mythologies to Iapon heritage. One such story links Iapon to the buffalo demon Mahishasura and buffalo demoness Mahishasuri. The divine beings Dada and Lila came to earth as humans. Dada wanted to return to the divine realm, but Lila enjoyed her life on earth and Dada's company. She wanted to stay on earth. Dada became angry and cursed her to become a Mahishi, or water buffalo demoness. Lila in turn cursed him to become a Mahisha, or water buffalo demon. They plundered earth with their evil acts. The water buffalo demon Mahishasura was killed by goddess Durga, while the water demoness Mahishasuri was killed by Iapon, ending the terror of evil and liberating divine Lila who was previously cursed. These legends, states younger, syncretically link and combine various Hindu traditions around Shiva, Vishnu and Devi. Sri Iapa Swami Temple at Koduru, Krishna District, Andhra Pradesh. The entrance shows Iapon riding a tiger. There are many temples in Kerala whose presiding deity is Iapon, the most famous among them being the Sabaramala Temple. Padinatam Padikarapan is guardian of Iapon Temple. The temple attracts millions of visitors every year during Mandala season from mid-November to mid-January. Other important temples are Kulathupuzasas the Temple, Aryankavusas the Temple, Akankovil Sri Dharmasas the Temple, Burumali Sri Dharmasas the Temple, and Panambalamedu Temple. Iapon temples typically show him as a celibate yogi. A few important temples such as the one at Akankovil Sri Dharmasas the temple near Travancore, however, depict him as a married man with two wives Porna and Pushkala, as well as a son Satyaka. Some of Iapon temples are believed to have been established by the Vishnu avatar Paris Harama. Iapon pilgrims walking barefoot to the Sabaramala shrine. 
Iapon has roots in Kerala, but his influence and popularity has grown among the Hindus in South Indian states. Of his many temples, the most significant is at Sabaramala, set in the forests of the Pathanamthitta district western ghats on the banks of River Pamba, southeast of Kotayam. It is a major pilgrimage, attracting millions of Hindus every year, particularly of Malayali, Tamil, Kannada and Telugu heritage. A crowd in front of the Ayapan temple, Sabaramala many begin preparations months in advance by leading a simple life, doing yoga, abstaining from sex, eating a vegetarian diet or partially fasting, wearing black or blue or sadhu style dress for 41 days, then trekking as a group to the shrine. The group does not recognize any form of social or economic discrimination such as caste, and all devotees form a fraternity welcoming each other as equals. The pilgrims call each other by the same name during the trek, Swami. After their long walk covering about 18 miles, they bathe in the Pamba River, then they climb 18 steps at the Sabaramala Shrine, each representing a dharmic value. The shrine priests and devotees bring flowers from all over the western ghats and scatter them near the shrine, all the while chanting shlokas. To keep the human traffic organized, I upon devotees reserve and are assigned a pilgrimage day from one of the 51 days of pilgrimage, and each day sees over 100,000 walking pilgrims. Girls and older women are welcome and join the journey with men, but women between the ages of 10 to 50 are strictly prohibited in Sabaramala. Because of the belief that Lord Iapon is a Brahmakari deity. The devotees wear simple dress on the day of the pilgrimage up the hills and through the forest, many go barefoot, carry Iramudi. Wear Talasi leaves and Rudraksha beads around their neck while fellow Hindus gather along the trek path, cheering and helping them complete their journey. For the Iapon pilgrims, states E. Valentine Daniel, the pilgrimage is a part of their spiritual journey. Vavras Mosque on the way to Sabaramala. He is also revered by Muslims in Kerala due to his friendship with Vavar, who is identified as a Muslim brigand in local versions of the Ayapan myth. In this mythology, Ayapan confronts the plunder-driven pirate robber Vavar in the jungle on his way to collect tigress milk. They fight. Ayapan defeats Vavar, and Vavar changes his way, becomes Ayapan's trusted lieutenant helping fight other pirates and robbers. In another version, Vavar is stated to be a Muslim saint from Arabia, who works with Ayapan. A mosque dedicated to Ayapan's Lieutenant Vavar Swami stands next to Kedutha Swami Shrine at the foot of the pilgrimage path, both as a form of guardian deities. Some pilgrims offer a prayer to both, before beginning their Sabaramala forest and mountain pilgrimage hike. According to Kent, the mosque does not contain mortal remains of Vavar Swami though the mosque near Sabaramala includes a grave, and no one can date Vavar nor provide when and where he lived, so he may be a myth. The Vavar legend and Pali shrines may reflect the Hindu approach to accepting and co-opting legendary figures or saints of other religions within its fold. A number of Indian films have been made about the deity. These include, Sabaramala Ayapan by S. M. Sriramulu Naidu, Swami Ayapan by P. Subramanyam, Saranam Ayapa by Dasaratan, Arul Tarum Ayapan by Dasaratan, Shiv Putra Swami. Ayapa by P. S. Mani, Sabaramala Sri Ayapan by Renuka Sharma, Engel Swami Ayapan by Dasaratan, Ayapa Swami Mahatyam, Ayapa Diksha Mahimalu by Guta Ramakrishna. Swami Ayapa Shabar Imalai by K. Shankar, Jai Hari Hara Putra Ayapa, Bhagwan Ayapa by Irajaral Bhakta and V. Swaminathan, Swami Ayapan by Chetan Sharma and Maheshvediyar, Om Sharanam Ayapa by K. Sharat, Sri Omkara Ayapan by Sai Prakash, Ayapa Kadakshan by Rudrapatla Venugopal. The Indian television channel Asianet launched a Malayalam language series named Swami Ayapan in 2006, this was followed by Swami Ayapan Saram, Sabaramala Sri Dharmashasta and Sabaramala Swami Ayapan. The story of Ayapa is dictated by Parvati de Ganesha in the Indian TV show on Sony TV, called Vignahart Ganesh. Media related to Ayapan at Wikimedia Commons. Thanks for watching.